What is up, everyone? It's me again, Gamerlush, with another episode of Final Fantasy Impressions. Dun da 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 da. <laughs> Guys, like I said, I was gonna be starting a little mini series. I guess you can call it a mini series. Maybe I don't know. Possibly. So basically, going over my first 15 levels of each class uh, during the beta weekends, plural, not singular. I was able to get all the classes up to 15 besides Thaumaturge. I was a little biased, I guess you could say, because that's the first class I kind of wanted to play. To give you a feeling of how the classes might feel when you first start them out. You know, I'm spitting all over myself. Okay, well, I think I'm going to be starting with, here's a clue, uh, with the Gladiator. Yes, but before we start, guys, raise your... Not this one. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't equally sound all even. Raise your glasses, guys, and join me for a drink. Cheers. Ugh, still cheap stuff. And my first paycheck. First paycheck. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's get moving on. The gladiator, tank, the sword and board, the valiant knight protecting the party from certain doom and monsters that might want to chew their faces off. <laughs> yes, that's right, that if you are choosing to be a tank with a shield, using it to protect you and all the ones you love, hold, hold dear to yourself, is this is the job for you. This is the pretty much the cut and paste warrior, sword and shield warrior, using the block defenses, heavy armor, getting in between the mob, the scary monster, and the person that's trying to turn to DPS or kill you. Now, this of course, you guys, if you're going to be picking a tank, this is one of your two choices of class. According now, classes you pick for this type of job. Now, I'm air quoting the crap out of this because it's because of the duty finder. The duty finder, which is unless they don't change it within phase four and let you pick what kind of role you want to play will still be duty <laughs> it is uh, basically this they'll, they'll share tanky roles with gladiator paladin and the marauder warrior so if you're planning on high defense and healing yourselves and healing people out of a pinch when you graduate from gladiator to a paladin this is the job for you now starting off first of course you always get your first initial skill at level one every class does is for the gladiators, this is going to be Flash Blade. I'm going to be saying this. I'm going to be going over the first skills you get around 15 and the class skills that you would get because each class gets a quest giving them a skill that's unlocked that you don't see inside the little ability menu when you open up your stat windows. When you pick a gladiator, now this is an interesting thing that they've done that I have not seen in any other MMO. I played a lot, and if you guys have, please correct me. Comments, that's what the comments are down there for. I appreciate all your comments and feedback, guys. Please keep do, keep blah, 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 blah. please keep it up. When you pick a class, depending on which class you pick, it determines what city you start in. Now I can see where this is gonna be flawed in a sense, but at the end of it, you all classes do end up meeting together and you have access to all the cities around level 15. Don't expect to be doing group dungeons until level 15 but you can still party up guys you can still do quests you can still chain monsters for extra experience to get you to i feel the first 15 levels is more like a tutorial for a lot of people just to get them in the feel of the game and then once 15 sets out they'll basically go here you go you still have a story quest but scoot scoot there you go out the window there you go defend yourself go kill mobs find those quests explore the land we made it very beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> so you'll start in Alda as a gladiator. For starting off, first skill will be Flash Blade. This is your initial attack skill besides auto attacking. You'll have no cast time. It's basically hit it, he'll cast it, but you do have a 2.5 second cooldown on it. This is a potency of 150, basically a 150% damage. I'm thinking the way potency works at this point. And uh, you go around. You, know, it's your, you don't feel as it's slow as the rest of the class because everyone basically gets a all most 
the plus disciplines of war get this attack thing where basically it's a boosted attack ability that can cast and once you hit it no cast time what have you 2.5 second thing going on there level two they give you one immediately a level two so you hit shit you probably hit level two before you even go out the city by doing all the quests initialized to you at the beginning of the game yeah it's a, it's a slow beginning start and i'm going to be saying this probably for this one before we get out of here just to give you an intro about how the classes might feel later on you'll probably hit the second one which is rampart which is not you automatically get a buff at the level two which will basically reduce damage by 10 percent this can be increasably through uh, traits not really, really traits these are basically passive buffs and what have you i probably look at that later your active abilities will will be affected by passive traits and they will do like at 10 percent reduce the cooldown increase the damage of some of a certain skill if you do this skill it'll automatically refresh the cooldown of this skill or if you do this combo it will make this ability crit uh, uh, automatically or 100 uh, percent of the time all right so after moving on there's you around level four you see you're going around doing your quest you're doing a, you're killing a couple mobs it's a little slower because you still only have fast play to use and rampart yeah you could use it every minute and a half and and when you do you can pull maybe one or two uh, two mobs and you know just try to kill them and they, they glad you're right off the box they're pretty hard to kill for, for a lot of beginning mobs so you guys can you know it might take you a little bit to kill mobs but it'll take mobs to kill you a lot it'll take a lot longer for mobs to kill you so it's the basically the trade off there cheers <clears throat> the hell is <laughs> all right moving on savage blade is what you get a little for now this is what we call action uh, combo action skills savage blade is basically it'll give you the a little bit more of the little base damage but the potency of a hundred but increases hatred or amenity 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 towards the mob basically making him more hate and when you hit him with this skill it'll basically say ow asshole and they'll come after you this is of course a skill that once you see a mob run off of you and head towards the healer or a dps who's not watching their dps DP dpsers i am a dpser myself watch your aggro <laughs> make it easy for the party and you can just run up hit them hit hit the mob with this skill and they'll basically just like ow asshole and then start going after you again but doing a rotation so this is basically a combo Doing fast blade first, and then following up with a savage blade will actually increase the potency to 200. So basically, making savage blade hit for 50 more potency than what fast blade would hit for. So for an efficient way of doing it, you want always want to cast fast blade first. You'll see a dotted outline rotating around that skill, letting you know it's like, okay, you've initiated a combo. This skill is being rotated by this little dotted line and letting you know like hey check it out I'm a combo if you hit me you'll, you'll do an additional effect on me <clears throat> hit the uh, savage blade and bam you'll hit it for you'll hit them for a lot harder than if you were just cast savage blade right from the start now you're thinking now wait a minute wouldn't I want to do savage blade first to get the immunity okay that's yeah but then balancing out saying that okay now you have a damage skill you get this at level 4, you're not going to be partying until around level 15, so it's okay for now because the next abil next two abilities will help you with loving. Oh, sorry guys, I got a sneeze coming on there. Alright, moving on to the fourth one. Okay, well, you know, we'll move on and I'll explain why they kind of gave you this one. It's basically to help you level at this point, to where this one will now too, because it's called flight or fight, or fight or flight, you know that brain instinct mechanic that we all have if we want to fight or flight or run <laughs> increasing damage dealt by 30 percent this is an awesome buff you get so you get a damage increase for 20 seconds 30 percent damage increase for 30 seconds now i would say pick this up for a lot of disciplines of war but unfortunately this is an exclusive skill only meant for the gladiator the savage blade is what the savage blade actually is open for a lot of our people so that's where the 
other classes would want to pick up Savage Blade and just use it straight up, right, straight out the back because they do not have the ability to cast Fast Blade first, then Savage Blade. So let's say a monk might pick up Savage Blade to initiate first with a Savage Blade punch, and it, I, it's really cool how if you pick up other skills from other classes, you get different animations even for that class. So it's like, how the hell does a monk have a Savage Blade? For them, it'll they don't rename it, but for them it'd be like a savage fist, and they'll like do maybe like a, a a cross hook instead of just like a straight punch or what have you. It's kind of cool how the animations differ from different pe different skills that come from other classes. Um, I'll I'll get into that after like experience another other like the archer gets a cool skill later on, but I'm diverting. We're talking about the gladiator. Stick with the plan. All right, okay, we're going now. Basically, so fire fight going back to fire fight, crease buff, damage overall. You gotta put in more damage. Of course, damage creates more humidity, hate. So you put in fast. You put it. You hit fire flight, fast blade, savage blade, and you got the extra damage. So the damage plus on top of the fact that this savage blade is making more humidity is a good way to you know start the fight off. Just you know, bam, bam. I did. Hey, ass. Hey, mob. What? Bam. Oh, look at that damage, bitch. Look at that damage. Oh, oh, you want some more? Bam! Oh, Savage Blade put me plus more damage. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, that's right. You better attack me, bitch. <laughs> Alright, so and then on top of that, on level 8, you get Flash. Basically, Flash is an AoE taunt, basically, letting you... This is also hardly telling you, Glider, you need to run in there. You need to take... You need to get in there and just... Do a dog pile and just jump on these motherfuckers and flash, bam! And they actually get a trait later on that basically once you hit flash, it blinds them, thus reducing their attack, their their chance to hit you. So not only are they pissed off at you that they can't see and they can hardly hit your ass for about a couple seconds. Now that's freaking awesome. You're basically making yourself. You have defense, you have all the hate, and the mobs can't hit you. How freaking great is that? It's like. <laughs> It was hilarious seeing it a lot when I was leveling up my Conjurer. Gladiators were basically, I hardly, unless it was like a really big mo group of mobs or a boss, it was kind of tedious trying to keep him up because he just had so much defense and he, was getting, he wasn't getting hit. He was just taking the hits and like his, was, he was de reducing so much damage because the shield gives you a lot of defense and block mechanics and what have you. So as a Conjurer, still having some damage skills, I could throw in a couple of damage spells in there because the Gladiator was taking a lot of hits. So, all right, later on. So then on top of that, you get ten on level ten. You get Convasial, Convas, Convalescent, Convalescent. I probably slaughtered the crap out of that. <laughs> the name of that. Basically, it increases the amount you get healed for by other players or yourself by 20%. So you basically, let's say your HP is running at a certain percent. Oh shit, I'm getting hit pretty bad. The healer, here comes a bit, here comes a, I can see my caster, I'm paying attention to ca the party bar. Saw the casting. Okay, he's about to cast a spell. Hit it. Bam, you get 20% more on top of the what you're going to get healed for. And okay, so flash, the AoE taunt, the uh, convalence, convalence is also shareable with other classes. So this is great for classes that want to tank outside of Gladiator and Marauder to pick up for and if you guys want to tank, don't use the duty finder. <laughs> Please guys, final square. Put that option in for duty finder. For the love of God. You get you made these both of these skills shareable for every other class, but then you still restrict us from being what class we want to play, what role we want to play as. You gave us these tools to be diversified, but yet you're still you're, you're still kind of boring us off. I'm, I'm productive. Anyway. Alright, so going on to Riot Blade. The Riot Blade it delivers a potency. It is a combo attack. This is cool. So, Fast Blade is a combo initiator. It is a starter. You have two choices at level 12 at this point now. You have a point, so now I have a situation. Do I need to create more hatred towards the enemy than because all of a sudden now he's running away from me to the healer? 
but now Riot Blade gives me the choice to hit them for the same amount of damage that Savage Blade does after I hit Fast Blade. So I have Fast Blade, I can go to Savage Blade, or now I can either go to Riot Blade. Riot Blade gives you mana back. Flash, Flash and, a lot, and a couple other skills uses MP unlike a lot of disciplines of war that use TP. And once the Gladiator graduates to a Paladin, the Paladin is going to be using MP to he use healing spells and a lot of other buffs. So are you guys running low on mana in the middle of fight? Hit Flash, Flash Blade and Riot Blade. Get some of that MP back. Good on you. Good on you, Square. Thinking about that. Giving us that choice. Smart ass bastard, you crafty sons of bitches. Let's see how you are. <laughs> Alright, so now that you have that choice in there, you can, you know, you gotta worry about keeping your hatred up and plus maintaining the mana. Let's say if you don't have a bard in the party, which basically has refresh. And later on, guys, I will be making a show I'll be making a show about my predictions of what skills the Arcanist might have so stay tuned because they might have refresh it has really good it. and the bars seem to have it and white mages for themselves seem to have it I think that was really good. I'll, I'll, I'll get in there later I'm, I'm sidetracking guys cheers I'm sitting here holding this thing guys <laughs> yes I, I, this reaction is still drinking the cheap crap if I but I usually drink Sky Vodka. That if I was doing that, I wouldn't be making these terrible ass faces. Alright. Now, at level 15, every class gets a class skill quest. Basically, this is for you. This moves you along the story of about how gladiators were, how pugilists were. You get to go on there, a master of the, the martial arts master who is a bumbling old man. Kind of reminds me of. Master Roshi, except he's not such a pervert. <laughs> Maybe. Yet. <laughs> well, when you do, you basically get... I'm not revealing the story yet, because I always want you to experience, because that's basically... A big chunk of shit, half of the game for Final Fantasy. And you know, uh, story is half the battle. Gamer Lush! So anyway, <laughs> God, I'm stupid. Anyway, so once you complete this quest around 15, you'll get shield lob. You'll get a pool mechanic. Awesome. Thus completing the package right before you get into your first dungeon. You have a full package of tanking abilities for you to have and for you to share. So for people to share your tanking abilities with other classes, you have Savage Blade, an attack that gains amenity. You have Flash. You have an AOE taunt. And you have Conveyancy. I'm probably still not saying that right because I suck at reading and pronouncing words and my grammar is terrible. <laughs> Conveyance basically increasing the amount of healing you receive from other players. With that tacked on with the, all the other skills that you might be getting later on with other jobs, you got a whole kit caboodle leg right there to work on with giving you, basically making you an efficient tank to move on, help your friends, and protect the ones that you love, and stout for it, carry on, carry on, what, what, and being, tanking basically being more of a leader role, because you are the one to be initializing battle, running in the front, letting people know, being aware, say, oh crap, I let him go, Black Domiturge, can you sleep that character, blah blah, and it's like, I can see where, why, a lot of MMOs, Tanks are kind of a low in abundance because a lot of responsibility falls upon the tank. And of course, if the tank messes up, the party is also right on their asses to blame the tank for a bad party. I feel I feel so I feel right here for you guys because I've tried tanking and it's hard, but it's fun at the same time. And if you guys are willing to take the responsibility, more kudos to you guys. I appreciate all of you don't do for us. Now, I'm not going past this point because it, I have not experienced the classes past 15. I thought fit, being 15 was a good experience, experiencing it's the beginning and not ruining too much of what the class might be. Now, leveling with the Gladiator is a little slower because most of the skills that they get are buffs 
and not too much damaging skills. So like no dots or super just haymaker finishers or anything or buffs that like will increase your well you get that one buff that does increase your damage but the fire flight is on a three th three minute cooldown Ugh, that's pretty long time depending on if you're trying to chain combos together and pull those mobs perfect for people at the beginning who are like hey man let's at the start let's team up together and do this it's like oh good I can I'm glad we can team up and we can just way out for these monsters. Let me pick up three of them real quick. Concentrate on mine and we can kill kill them fast enough before they kill me. Because I can take the hate, pull them in, take the damage, and while you're doing all the damage you can to pull to pull them down and all that, what have you. Great, great person to tag along with and what have you. And of course, we all know that tanks are a valuable commodity in the MMO scene. And we appreciate all of you. Guys! Tell me why you like tanking, or tell me why you don't like tanking in the comments below. I like tanking. Hell, I, it was my least played class when I'm going through all the MMOs I've played, but you know, I've, recently I've been get, dipping my toes into tanking. It's, it's, it's fun. It does Yeah, it does require a lot of responsibility and that leadership mentality that a lot of people have. I can see why a lot of guild leaders are usually tanks and what have you. But, as always guys, if you enjoyed your time with me, please, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and this is last shot for you, and as always, cheers, and game on. Use the shows to record with. <laughs> Once funds get a little better, I can start recording the good stuff. I'll probably actually be mixing drinks game-themed-wise, so...